Happy Pride! And welcome back to another Lauren Eloise video. I'm joined with the beautiful Gal Pal. And today we are going to react to at least 10 of the best coming out scenes. As rated by you in yes. the thousands of comments. That Too you many put on comments. <laughs> We're gonna be rating videos out of seven love hearts, and if they are the cutest, ooeyest, most heartwarming coming out scenes, they're gonna get the full rainbow of hearts. I have not seen any of these. Actually, that's a lie. I have seen a couple because I've watched the show, mm -hmm. but you went and dug around through through the comments. Yes. What ones do we have? What ones are we reacting we to? We have a typical Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Stranger Things, Heartstopper. Everybody wanted us to watch We're doing Heartstopper. It. We're so. doing it. And a whole bunch more that you'll find out. Let's go. Actually, let's not go. Before we go. <laughs> Before we go. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's got really this, cute. I got this really cute new hoodie. Show me the back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can you even see? Yes, you, you know can. what? I've got a better way for you to see the back. <laughs> Pride shirt! Woo! From Martin's shop! We have new merch! It says, in Sappho we trust. You're good at explaining this. Who is Sappho? So Sappho was an ancient Greek poet. Super, super famous, despite the fact we have almost none of her poetry left. Only one of her poems survived in its entirety. Mm -hmm. The rest have been... It's all bits fragments. and pieces. But she wrote poems about women. We get two words from her. We get the word sapphic, which comes from her name, Sappho. So, women. Mini who like women. Yep, and, and then we get the word lesbian because Sappho was born and grew up on the island of Lesbos in Greece. A long, long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. The flowers we've got in the design here, the violet flowers, Sappho used to write about violets and purple flowers and purple flower crowns a lot in her poetry and that came to be a symbol of the LGBT movement, particularly for queer women throughout history. You wear the violets, you're gay. Yeah. If you want to get a rainbow version or you want the black and white version, I've also got it in white and black. This is probably my favorite one, actually. It's really subtle, so if no one knows who Sappho is, you can safely wear this one. If you really want to support Lauren's channel, especially with a massive video like this, it's going to take, take you so many hours, hours like to edit. Over 10 hours. You want to grab one, you like the design, check out shop.laurenelouise.com and thank you so much! Let's write the scenes! All right, back to the video. <laughs> what are we going with first? Hmm. We'll go with one that you have watched. Yes! <laughs> Is it gonna be... It's Stranger Things, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna okay. watch Stranger Things. Everybody wanted this scene, so yeah. of course we're putting it in. And we have seen it, but it was a while ago. <laughs> okay. Right. First of all, she's hilarious. She's so funny. I feel like this summer, I have laughed harder than I have laughed in a really long time. And she's smart. Way smarter than me. I really love, like, the shots. You know, she can out. crack yeah. like, top secret Russian codes and... You know, she's honestly unlike anyone I've ever even met before. <laughs> I love this scene. I know, the pain. Because you feel it. Like, mm -hmm. that is sort of what you felt. Robin. It always annoyed me that he didn't just go out the door. <laughs> yeah, but it's him. He has to do something stupid. What do you think? About? This girl. She sounds awesome. She is awesome. And what about the guy? I think he's on drugs. And he's not thinking straight. He doesn't even know this girl. And if he did know her, like, like really know her, I don't think he'd even want to be your friend. That's, no, that's not true. No way is that true. It's because of the time they're in as well. Yeah. They're in the 80s. It's shocked me to my core. But I like you. <laughs> I really like you. But I'm not like your other friends. Do you remember what I said about Click's class? About me being jealous? Yeah. It isn't because I had a crush on you. On you? It's because she wouldn't stop staring at you. Mrs. Click? <laughs> Tammy Thompson. Whoever that is. I wanted her to look at me. But she couldn't pull her eyes away from you and your stupid hair. <laughs> and you asked dumb questions and you were a douchebag <laughs> and, and you didn't even like her and I would go home and just scream into my pillow. But Tammy Thompson's a girl. Steve. Yeah? Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. Tammy Thompson, you know, she's cute and all, but I mean, she's a total dud. She's not. <laughs> yes, she is. She wants to be like a singer. She wants to move to like Nashville and shit. She has dreams. She can't even hold a tune. I'm just practically tongue deaf. Have you heard her? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. 
that scene because you've been in that position before. You know exactly what she's yeah. going through and she's showing you very visually what emotionally is going on. I really like it because I think, especially like compared to the other scenes that we are going to watch today too, it's one of the longest and I like that it's long because they took the time they with care. it. They care. Yeah. Like the creators of the show and the actors are like, we're going to make this count. And they did. Yeah. It wasn't just It wasn't small just thing. like, let's just make her gay. Okay, we'll spend over five minutes and you have done things in film. So how long is five minutes of <laughs> That's like watch time an is... entire day yeah. almost of filming. Just that that scene. It's a really, really well done, well articulated scene. And I love Steve's reaction. Like <laughs> he ta obviously he's shocked and it's definitely the time, but I love that he's he sort of settles that and any other questions or things he might have, he's like, he goes, not, not the time. Yeah. How can I make Robin comfortable? And he just goes straight into like, well, like she's a dud. And that's just <laughs> funny. It's just yeah. funny. Yeah. Am I allowed to give my full rainbow hearts away to this already? Like I think first, so. First scene into the video. I really, <laughs> I really love this yeah. scene. All right. Full hearts. Full hearts. <sighs> Thanks, Stranger Things. All right, we'll do the scene from The Owl House next, which neither of us have watched, but everyone wants us to. The Owl House. That's cute. These characters are really cute. Hi, I'm Bi. <laughs> I presume that's Mum. What <laughs> your <laughs> That was so short. But... It's so tiny, but it's so cute. Okay, it is really cute. I like the idea because I can see a kid doing that, yeah. getting inspired by that show. That seems like a thing kids would do nowadays. Like you make I yourself, think... make your parent like a little slideshow, a little presentation to be like, here's who I am. Here's who I am. And maybe Slash even like education. Here's like, what this, that means. This yeah. is what bi means. Yeah. I definitely think I've heard some of you guys say that you've done a slideshow. Mm. If you feel like that's the relation you you have with your parents then yeah super cute and also i love that the mum's thing is like oh and gives a big hug Yay. and it's cute and the girlfriend i presume the girlfriend is there as well when yeah. she comes out so that was kind of nice like bit of support yeah. i don't know if it's a full rainbow for me just because i'm a words person so i like the conversation part of it like actually talking i know that that's not always the way it goes but for this context yeah i like it so i'm you like it? i'm going with five oh, that's what i was thinking five yeah. hearts i'm gonna go five yeah. Next one we're going to watch is another show again that we haven't seen yet, but I think we were both We right. have done scenes from this in some of the other videos, Yes, actually. yes, we did a scene. It's atypical. Casey coming out to her brother. I'm excited for this. Yeah, I think you'll like it. Cute! <laughs> Wrong video, Aaron. <laughs> So is she your girlfriend now? Jesus, Sam, warn a person. <laughs> that I'm sitting on the couch? Okay. I'm sitting on the couch. So, are you a couple? I am not having this conversation with you, ever. But. <clears throat> but if I did. <laughs> I mean, if we were, would that be a, a problem with you? What? No, why? You'd be like Sven and Magic. Who? The two male Gentoo penguins at the Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. <laughs> they courted each other and built a nest. Do you know about the penguins? Cute. No. I do. They have a baby now. His name is Fenjik. Look at him. Hello, a you. A penguin's got a baby. Thanks. For what? For not being weird about this. Or being weird, but in your own way. Aww. You're welcome. Now, can you please leave me alone? I'm kind of busy. <laughs> All right, we've settled that. Goodbye. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. yeah. I love the hard cut from like the really cute like goodbye at the door and then like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you were watching? And also I I feel that like the shock horror of like being caught or almost being caught when you haven't told anybody or you're not sure or whatever and you're like, oh! Yeah. If we were to focus on that, that could have been... Uh, it depends on the show. I think that probably suits that show. But like if it was a different show, then you might feel a little more like, ah! But yeah. still really cute. Yeah. And it's not it's not too much. And it seemed really true it's from what I understand of the show to the characters, like the way in which the conversation played out where he's just like, Well yeah, I don't care, you just like these these penguins at the Sydney Aquarium. <laughs> Which is such a like, weird analogy, what? but yeah. But if he, like, it's a thing he knows and understands, and he's like, well, that's, you just I like these guys. This. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought that was really cool. Yeah. In a more uh, meta sense, homosexuality exists in other species besides humans, guys. That has been observed. <laughs> Not only in the penguins. Sorry. We are rating this one. Uh, I'm going with five again. Five stars. I mean, five hearts. Oh, can I give a half heart? No. no. <sighs> what, what were you thinking? Five or six. I can't decide. Go to your head, go. Five. <laughs> I just can't be different from you. 
Why not? I'm kidding. <laughs> The way that I took that seriously, I'm I like, know. what are you talking about? We're wearing matching shirts. It's so cute. Okay, next. <laughs> you go, I go, you go, I go. Think. Next one we're going to watch is Victor coming out in the Umbrella Academy. Which you have seen. Which I have seen. I feel like this is one of the videos where you've almost seen I've seen two things few. so far. Yeah, which we haven't no, even... No, three. I might have... Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I think I'm so... We're going well so far. <laughs> Where's Luther? Who cares? Probably out for a, a run. <laughs> mm. Love the haircut. Who elected you, Vanya? It's, uh, Victor. Who's Victor? <laughs> I am. It's who I've always been. Uh, is that an issue for anyone? <laughs> no, I'm good with it. Yeah, me too. Cool. <laughs> you cut this one off short, but I like that Diego is the first one to say he's cool with it because you feel like he's going to be, if anyone, the one who's... Has a problem yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. So I like that he says it so fast. Yeah, and it's also very Diego-esque. He's not making a fuss about it. He's sort of like, who's Victor? I am. Oh, okay. Yep, I don't care. But we didn't hear Move anything on. from Five. Did Five no, say anything? No, I don't know. The scene where, when you got where, the I, got, where yeah, I got okay. the video from, that's literally where it ended. That's like one moment, but I feel like there's a few throughout that episode. I like this one. I do. My only thing is, I think it's because it's like, it is spread across the episode a little bit in different people. For me, it's like a little bit too short and abrupt, but I think they did that on purpose. It was like an intentional decision, I think, by the creators and by Elliot Page for it to be a non-issue. Like, hey yeah. guys. Victor now. I, I get that vibe from that scene anyway. Yeah. And I do wonder how it would have been if we had like a little bit more of a chat with it amongst the family. I think that would have been more beneficial for older people watching the show. Mm. Like people who might not understand what being trans is because this doesn't really explain what being... Like I was always Victor. Sure. I get it. You get it. But maybe older but viewers don't. Would yeah. my mum get it? I don't know. What's your rating? What is my rating? Again, I think I'm going with five. I'm waiting for something to be just a slight bit, bit better. I actually think for me, I'm going with four. Just because of those things, I felt like it was oh. for me and like the older, the older audience part yep. we're talking about, like just the little, the little bit of missing. Yeah, stuff. I understand that because I think the audience for this show, I think it's a very wide audience for this show. There's mm. a lot of different ages going on in this, whereas some of the other things we watch are for younger people or are for just LGBT people who are gonna watch this. Yeah. So they sort of need to take that into consideration. Like I understand why the choice might have been made, but for me as like a viewer, I would have I would just wanted to leave a little bit more. I get it. I get it. Yeah. This is another one that neither of us have seen before called XO Kitty. I think it's very new. Yes. So... But I um accidentally watched a fan edit earlier today of Did like the, the like just really briefly to, with the background music being girly right now I was like this is cute. All right, so we're gonna do it. You were never supposed to know any of this. Just like I wasn't supposed to know you shipped Juliana away. Yulia, that was for your own good. No, it wasn't. It's because you're ashamed. And all my life I thought it was of me, but really, you're ashamed of yourself. You're young and spoiled. So were you when you had a baby. How's that secret working out for you now? I had to do what was best for my family then, and I am doing what is best for my family now. Well, your best sucks. I love Juliana, and you sent her away to protect your image. You care about that more than you care about me or your son who wants to get to know you. It's more complicated than that. And mom, I'm right here in the present. I'm gay. Full stop. End of discussion. But you and Day. You liked him, didn't you? You can find another boy you like. I never liked him. The whole thing was fake. I have to live a fake life just so you'll keep on loving me. And I'm done doing that. Good for you. Oh dear, that was very heavy. Yes. I'm a little emotional about that. Oh. The dialogue of these two characters, I know there's some other storyline mixed in with it, but the dialogue was very 
what usually happens in these scenarios, which yeah. I really like. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sucks to watch because it it hurts. Yeah. But the mum being like, but you liked or you dated so-and-so. Yeah. That happens. And just the rationalising. It's not an outward rejection, but her being like, but but what about this? Like, maybe there's a, a chance. A way out And she's it. like, yeah. no. I really liked her, I'm gay, full stop, no discussion. And then, then there was a discussion anyway, because parents do that. But I liked that she was so confident. I want to know who Juliana is. <laughs> It's cute. It I know, is really I know. cute. I would like to watch the show. Actually, watch this one. It's hard to rate this one because it's a like it's a heavy, like you say a heavy scene. I'm ge- I'm I know what I'm rating it. What are you rating? I'm it? rating the full rainbow hearts. I really liked it because okay. it, it touched me. It touched. Oh. I don't know. Like I felt cute. emotional about it because that's what happens. That's important to me in a scene. I felt that one. What I'm are you gonna, do? gonna give it a five. Five rainbow. But like it's on par for me with the other fives that I've given. So okay. five five hearts. Fair fair. Yeah. <laughs> Just resettle from that. <laughs> Next, we're going to watch a show that I've watched and you've never seen. I really like called Brooklyn Nine Nine. Okay. We're gonna watch Rosa coming out. Oh, what have we done? It's called I don't have AirPods. Okay. <laughs> Apple, please sponsor this video. <laughs> they will never. <laughs> when you called this dinner, you were so nervous. We were worried you were gonna tell us you were gay. <laughs> so you would rather me be some dude's mistress than be in a loving relationship with a woman? Well, Jake and I aren't dating, but guess what? Your worst fears are real. I'm not straight, I'm bisexual, and I don't care what you think about it. We want you to know we're not upset. Great, I'm not upset either. Because no matter what you call yourself, you still like men, so you can still get married and have a child. I can do those things with either a man or a woman. Yes, but it will be a man, because this is just a phase. Uh, friends. Oh, um, uh, sisters. Oh, business partners. <laughs> love. What do women love? They're George Clooney! It's a wedding! They're brides. They're in love. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I know you don't want to talk about this, but I do. Because this is not a phase, and I need you to understand that. I'm bisexual. I'm attracted to both men and women. I've known this about myself for a really long time, and I didn't want to tell you because I was afraid you were going to react exactly like you are. So it's a long okay. one, but it, it's like a, another sort of multi-part one, like Victor's. There's a few bits through the episode. What year was this released? That would have been like three or four, maybe five years ago. Oh, so it's new. Yeah. It's not like 2003. No, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I got that sort of vibe. I was... Yeah, it's like a sit. It's that vibe. It's a sitcom vibe. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't vibe with that one too much. But maybe because I don't understand the character's humour. Yeah. It's, think... it's, it's a different kind of humour. And Rose is very like deadpan. I was going to say, it's very... To yeah. the point yeah, where yeah. I was like, oh, like, <laughs> you could have got a little more creative with the lines. Yeah, I like the simplicity of, like you were saying before, with an older yeah. audience, because that's an older audience would watch B99. Yes. That they're like, she said it multiple times, I'm bisexual, I like men and women. Explained I've known this term. for a long time. Yeah. And explained, yeah, so I was like, there can be no confusion. So for me, as a fan of the show and knowing the context around it, it's a really cute, like, yeah. And what are you gonna rate it? I think it was a really important scene, like when it came out, and um, and the way that it goes through. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it six. Okay. I really liked it. I think they could be more, just a little, a little more cute to make it a full rainbow, but definitely six. I'm gonna give it five. It's probably not my type of show, as in like the the comedy. I don't like the sort of the sitcom style type thing. I don't know why. I just don't really. I know, and it's such a shame but, um... because there's so many funny bits in that show, Lauren. <laughs> that I, I think you really like. I know. I don't want to be too harsh because I know there's probably not a lot of bi coming out scenes. Mm. Not a lot where people explicitly say bi or bisexual. They might say like, I like boys and girls, or yep. I was dating this person and now I'm dating girl. And sometimes they just leave it at that. So it's nice to be like, this is it. This is it. Hey, this is Sorry. another one that I've seen. I know. Oh my God. You've seen so many of these. I'm really proud of you. Yay. Next we're going to do, what, wait, what's this show called again? It's called <laughs> Feel Good. May Martin. May, yes. Cool. Um, and this is, we've done a feel good scene before with a kiss scene, but this is not a kiss scene. This is a coming out scene. When you think of me in your head, do you think of me like a, like a boy or a girl, would you say? Just you, really. Yeah. More importantly, how, how do you see you? Um, yeah, just me, really, I think. Yeah. But then that feels like not really a thing, or I don't know what that means. Or... I think that that is a thing. That's non-binary, May. I, I do think maybe you should Google it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I probably should Google it. You tell me, and I'll use the right words. Cute. 
you say the right thing? Yeah, you said the perfect thing. Cute. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. What to rate it though? May didn't really explain the feelings of being non-binary. Maybe May should have said a little bit more like, I sort of feel like this and this sometimes, just to fill that tiny gap. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, I get what you're saying. It could read like that. I think they've possibly touched on it in other parts of the show before yeah. we get to like this moment. And I think because they know each other, there's a bit of that. She's being like, well, or they're being like, I don't really, I just see myself as me. I don't yeah. really see myself as a boy or a girl. Which would be true to what people feel. Yeah. Um, and it's very uncharacter for the girlfriend to be like, is you should probably Google that. <laughs> like you should have a look, you should probably look it up and like learn. The, the best part of that scene for me is definitely when George is like, you tell me and I'll use the right words. Yeah. And it's also the wording. You tell me and I'll use the right words, not you tell me and I'll use what you want. I'll say what you want, but like the right words in because that, that's what it is. It yeah. is the right And words. at the start of the scene it was also like, tell me what you feel. What yeah, you more feel importantly, is more important. Not what I think. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't matter how I see you, it's how you yes. see you. Yep. Yeah, so I think those are really key, like, cute moments. I'm going with six rainbow hearts. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> six six hearts, hearts out of seven. All right. Time for a history lesson, kiddos. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, is, this is a bit different. This, this is not one that you requested, but it's probably because you don't know it exists. This is probably the first time a character ever came out as gay on American television. The year was? How old is this? Like 1990 something? 70, 80. I stuffed up. It was 1997. <laughs> Okay. It so was a while. Further, further back. Yeah. So you probably do know the person that we're going to be watching though, which is Ellen DeGeneres. Before Ellen became a talk show host, she was actually an actor. Which I didn't know. I, yeah. I just learned this before yeah. we sat down. She was an actor in a sitcom called Ellen, where she was the main character that went for like four seasons, ended up stopping because of her coming out. But she and the writers and the creators of the show fought really hard for her character to come out as gay. Yeah. And that's what this scene is. Really Big moment. Really important for everything else that we've watched today. None of it would be possible without this having happened. This is this is so hard, but I I I I think I've realized that I am I can't even say the word. Why can't I say the word? I mean why can't I just say I mean, what is wrong? That why, why do I have to be so ashamed? I mean, why can't I just say the truth? I mean, be who I am. I'm 35 years old. I'm so afraid to tell people. I mean, I just... Susan, I'm gay. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> It is a sitcom. <laughs> I like that. Short as that is, I understand the importance of that at the time. And also that she was like, why can't I say it? And she ends up using the word gay. It's the same with like lesbian. Like how long has it taken me to feel comfortable to say that word? Yeah. And that's what I think. I get it. And it's so interesting watching it because it's like, yes, she's acting as the character Ellen of the show, but also like it's all her. Yeah. And it's all her life. That scene is really important. Important enough that in like Will and Grace, which was a show that came out afterwards, years and years and years later, there's a scene that rips off that where Karen says, I'm not gay or something. And the same <laughs> thing, into an airport microphone. <laughs> um, exactly the same sort of setup, which yeah. I didn't know until I watched this. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they've now taken it from it. there. Yeah. What do you want to rate it? Well, considering the history, I would love to give it like the full Rainbow Hearts. Yeah, I think it's I really would. important. But also the, I don't want to say the word gay, because I feel that. And no also other. the humour of then when she finally does say it. <laughs> Everybody hears it. Yeah. Hilarious. Yes. Let's give it a full yeah. rainbow. Thanks, Ellen. I'm feeling a little bit generous right now. So I, I wanted to do something really special. I haven't done this before, okay. but I wanted to do a giveaway. I'm giving away one of these Ooh. Sappho shirts to the first person who uses the word Ellen in the checkout. Any size you want, shipped wherever you want, it's yours. So if we go to your shop and we type in Ellen at the checkout. Yep, that's it. You, you get, get it. a freebie shirt. Whoever is first, let me know. I want to know who got it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Happy Pride. You're doing it for the games. <laughs> We've got two to go. Happy second last video. This is Never Have I Ever. Heavily requested. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Again, one that I've seen, but Lauren hasn't. You're so lucky. You have a perfect family. We are not perfect. Yeah, you are. It's not like you have a huge lie threatening to tear everyone apart. Huge lie. Actually, I do. Oh my god. Do they not know you switched to AP Latin? <laughs> they don't know that I'm gay. What? I'm gay. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you sooner. I honestly just realized. Don't you dare apologize to me. Aww. I 
love this for you. And I love this for me. Finally, a gay friend. It really fits my brand as a theater one. <laughs> wow. That felt so great to say. I feel like I just solved an escape room I've been trapped in my entire life. So, like, what's your type, though? Kristen Stewart and Twilight or Kristen Stewart and Charlie's Angels? Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cute because I think that's that's kind of true to what happens when you... If you're younger in high school when you tell your friends, they're like, yeah. yes, love that. Yeah. I knew Bestie the or whatever. The support yeah. was cute. Yeah. And I really like the escape room line. I think that's so clever. Yeah, How actually, I get out? <laughs> none of the other... None of the other scenes sort of touched on like, oh, I've, I, it's such a relief getting that off my chest. Yeah. I don't know what to rate it. <laughs> I feel like I want to give it... A six. I was thinking that too. Yep. Six rainbow okay. hearts. Six hearts. Also, I haven't watched season three yet, and I saw spoilers for a new relationship fab when I was looking up for this oh. video, so now I really <laughs> want to watch it. Lucky last video, Lauren. Drum roll. What are we watching? What is it? Heartstopper. Mm -hmm. This is Nick coming out to his mum. We have seen this one. Yes, another one that I've seen. This is the, yes, this is confirmed the most Re scenes I've seen in a video. I reckon you have. You were going to say half. requested, most requested. And it's the most requested. It yes. We're doing it. Let's go. Mum. Mm -hmm. You know Charlie's like my best friend. If you're going to ask if he can come on Armin Oak holiday this year, the answer's no, because I've already booked the ticket. No, that's, um, <laughs> that's not what I was going to say. That's such a thing to say. He's my boyfriend. Charlie's my boyfriend. I, I still like girls, but um, I like boys too. And, and, and me and Charlie, we're, we're going out. <laughs> and I just wanted you to know. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, thank you for telling me. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you couldn't tell me that. You don't have to say you like girls if you don't. No, I, um... It's definitely not just guys, I, um... It's, it's called bisexuality, if you've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cute. This one is so cute. I oh. also really, really like that there's a lot of space where she doesn't say anything. Yeah, but you, think... you can see, I like it because you can see her almost wanting to say stuff, but going, he needs to just, keep just talking let and letting him talk. Get it out. 10 out of 10 mumming. And then the thanks for telling me and then I, I love you. Yeah. Like, and even when she's like, you know, I'm really sorry if I ever made you feel like yes. you couldn't tell me. Because like, she doesn't know if she did, but just having it there, like, oh. <laughs> I think when we watched this, I actually... I definitely I cried. I think I cried. And you don't cry. No, I, I cried. I I'm like fucking tearing up now and I'm like, <laughs> don't, you, you got the makeup on. <laughs> um, it's so modern, so new. We're finally seeing this. So when it came out and it's so popular, so talked about, I think it, it's just so important. Yeah. Really, really cute. And it was well done, especially with so many people watching it. So yeah. so many people see the right way to react. Yes. It just warms my heart. Yeah. It's really cute. Definitely a full rainbow. Yes, hundred percent. Seven stars. Stars oh, the rainbow. Seven stars. Seven hearts. Seven of everything. <laughs> Take it all. Take everything. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Yay! I think um, our winners were Stranger Things and Heartstopper. I think there was another. I gave one other a full. Part. There might have been another one in there. Can't remember. <laughs> if you enjoyed this and you want a part two to this, like there's so many more coming out scenes that we didn't get to watch, so please scream in the comments at us. It's totally okay. Yeah. Please do it because I would love to do another one. Yes, give us all your recommendations. And um, if you enjoyed this video, we reacted to lesbian kissing scenes part two last year. <laughs> you should watch this one next. Yes, it was very cute. By the way, it is age restricted, so you need to be signed in because YouTube thought it was too adult, but it's <sighs> fine. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. <laughs> <laughs>